Yo, what's going on everybody? My name is Explosive Rampage and I just got out of that movie Trouble at the Curb. I thought I'd do a quick review on it since I've got nothing better to do on a Saturday at 1 o'clock a.m. <laughs> so basically the movie, just going to summarize it real quick, it's about a baseball scout who's getting old, uh, starts struggling with his job, his daughter who he pretty much taught the game of baseball assists him with scouting a specific player uh, a potential number one round draft pick and throughout this whole process they work on the relationship since they were never that close because um, the mother slash wife died when the daughter was six so the scout is played by Clint Eastwood who was decent I mean you can't hate on Clint Eastwood he's funny He's rash. I thought the writing was good for his acting style. The daughter is played by Amy Adams, who I'm a huge fan of. She's really pretty, and I think she's a great actress. She's very versatile. She can... I'm not going to go too deep in that. And third, the huge actor in there is Justin Timberlake. And he was making the ladies in the theater go crazy, because it's Justin Timberlake. I'm not a huge fan of Justin Timberlake. I think he's hilarious, but his voice kind of annoys me. So anyways, those are the three main actors in the movie. And I thought they did a really good job, but what lacked or wasn't up to par in this movie was the writing. The writing seemed to be kind of awkward at some points. Like towards the end of scenes, <laughs> there would just be a second or maybe even less of silence or they'd when the actors would walk away or something and change scenes which in some situations I don't mind because I hate movies with a lot of jump scenes and cut scenes so in some situations I thought it was alright but in others it was just kinda of weird and it seems like seemed like they needed filling to make the movie runtime appropriate so overall I give it a uh, three and a half out of five star it's not really a huge baseball movie. If you're looking for another Moneyball, this movie is definitely not it. It's just a kind of glorified glorified chick flick. It's a good movie to take a date to, even though I didn't bring anyone. <laughs> it's kind of spontaneous. It's a good movie for a date because it's not a completely boring chick flick or a super action-y, sporty guy movie. So... That's how I'd recommend you seeing it if you decide to. And, um, oh, one thing I wanted to add was I, have you ever been in a movie or seen a movie where you've recognized where it was filmed? I had that moment in this movie since I spent a summer in Atlanta this past summer, actually. And the school I was going to go to instead of my school down in California was called Dunwoody High School. And a scene in that movie was filmed at Dunwoody High School and if you wanna look for the scene it's a scene the first scene where they go to scout the huge first round first round draft pick that they're looking at in South Carolina and you can see the gym in the background when they go to the parking lot it's a brick building that's the school I would have gone to if I stayed in Atlanta just a random side note to personalize this commentary so in conclusion, the movie was decent. Go see it with a date. And other than that, have a nice day. Peace.